What's up, YouTube? Okay, have a Wi-Fi battle uh, for you guys tonight. But uh, quickly, firstly on, I wanted to say... Um, so if anyone who went to my live streams and stuff I used to do on uh, Twitch, I'm not doing them there anymore because they screwed me over. And uh, pretty much what I'm doing now is I've sort of moved to Ustream. So if you want to watch my live streams and stuff, uh, I'll leave my link uh, in the description of the video for you. And um, they'll be on the same time each weekend and stuff. Uh, I'll probably be doing one this weekend um, if everything goes right. But if I don't do it this weekend, it'll be every single uh, weekend from uh, then. So if you want to go there, um, and uh, if you want to have a battle against me too, um, I do uh, tend to do some battles there um, during the week as well because it's a, like a chat room too. Um, make sure you uh, do that. And um, I'll be announcing when I'm doing streaming as well as stuff. So it's pretty easy just to quick like one minute making an account on there if you that's if you want to uh, comment and stuff of course anyway let's get to this video uh, so this was one I just had then um, I was going to I was actually going to live narrate this one but I had like a telephone call so um, I couldn't really do that uh, anyway let's get to the battle um, so we've got a pretty standard team there except for the cryogonal um, which was cool okay I think that this went for 38 turns so it was quite a long battle um, Alright, anyway, so I'm leading straight off here with my uh, Matrix. Oh yeah, also, before I start this, um, if you hear any like, noises in the background, it's like pissing down with rain here. Um, making it a little bit difficult to sort of narrate. So I, I switched there as well because I thought that he may go for extra sensory. Um, so I, I went straight into my Drapion and to sort of like block that. But he's going to predict me going for like a fighting move so he can do Agilus Sash. It wasn't too bad. Okay, anyway, so just in case you went for King's Shield first turn, I just went for Sword Dance. Um, now he's going to go for Sword Dance. We both got a boost there. So I wasn't too, that wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to go here for a knockoff. Um, and he doesn't King's Shield, which was interesting. Um, like, Probably wouldn't have mattered like too much. Um, it's a very, very strong move. So I knock off uh, the leftovers anyway. So that's that poke down. I was really happy to get that out of the way. Okay, anyway, so out comes the Aerodactyl. I know that it's going to be Mega Aerodactyl because uh, most people just use certain Pokemon for the Megas. Uh, straight into Rotom because I'm predicting an Earthquake here. Um, and I can sort of block that with the Levitator ability. I'm also ch uh, Choice Scarfed as well, so I've got a good chance of outspeeding um, as well. Um, I've, def I've got a definite chance about speeding. Um, so, maybe thinking that I'm Troy Scarfed, he's going to swap out there. And like, maybe, like, but I just went here straight for the Thunderbolt, so I wanted to do some nice damage. Uh, it's not going to do very much to Prevenant at all, which sucks. Now, I don't want to stay in because it may have something like Shadow Sneak or any sort of ghost move that's not going to be very good uh, against me. I'm also locked into Thunderbolt, so straight into Golbat here. Uh, he's going to throw up the substitute, which wasn't that great for me because now I have got to break that substitute. Okay, anyway, so I'm just going to go for Taunt, because I know it's got Leaf Seed, Will-O-Wisp, those, all those sort of moves, they're pretty easy sort of, uh, to predict. Now, Goldbat really can't do much uh, else because of that substitute sort of up. Straight into Matroke here. Um, really, I just wanted to break the sub. That was sort of my, my main sort of objective here. Then swap something in to sort of scare it off, or maybe get uh, some good damage in uh, on a swap in. Okay, so um, obviously I'm going to get outspeed here easily. Uh, two Horn Leeches really hits me pretty hard uh, there. And he's got most of his health back. Um, I really just had to sacrifice Matrix here to get rid of that uh, substitute. I didn't really want to swap anything else into it either. Okay, anyway, so that's a, sub that's a substitute fade. And Taunt wears off just in case he goes for substitute again. I went for knockoff, um, but he's going to have to take me out there with Leech, uh, Horn Leech as well. Um, but that's alright, I did... I did actually anticipate that he could uh, attack me there, so I was happy to lose Machoke there, unfortunately. So straight into Golbat again. Um, now, this time I went for a Toxic because I knew that it would switch, probably predicting me to go for like Taunt again. Um, out comes the Mega Aerodactyl. Now, I was thinking long and hard here whether I should swap because I know. <laughs> that had to come up. Uh, anyway, I was thinking whether uh, I should swap here. I knew that I could take at least one and maybe sort of try and Toxic stall it out. Um, right here, so it, it does like heavy damage to me, um, probably around very close to uh, three quarters of my health, very close uh, there. So I'm just going to get my health back, pretty much all of it with Roost, and start getting the uh, sort of toxic cycle going. Now I was continuing, I could just continue to use Roost here, but I thought that he may attack this turn, so I just went for um, Super Fang there, and it hits, which is good. 
Uh, he does miss with Rock Slide there, which is not good for him. And um, yeah, Rock, Rock Slide with that shaky accuracy is really, uh, it's, it's pretty annoying. Um, okay, anyway, into into Kyogre I now I really can't do anything to this poke at all. I know it's got Ice Beam and it's got really great special attack, so um, I definitely want to swap out my goal back because he's going to be very handy for later on. Okay, um, so strain to Licky Licky Tongue here. I know that I can easily take whatever move this throws at me. So it's freeze dry, not ice beam. Um, I knew that it'd be an ice ice move, obviously. Um, so he misses me with toxic, which um, was good for me, I guess. But I am carrying rest on this thing, so toxic any status ailment doesn't actually phase me at all. Um, I can just go to sleep and use sleep talk. It doesn't actually worry me at all. Okay, um, I get a parahax with body slam there. So that's fairly good, and I'm able to um, take out the Kyogonal pretty easily. Then again, it really couldn't have done too much to me other than use Toxic and maybe hit me with another Freeze Dry. Um, Lickitung pretty much easily walled that. Okay, um, so he's going to hit me with Will-O-Wisp here. Um, once again, that doesn't really phase me at all because I can just go to sleep afterwards. Um, so knockoff is going to be good, so I, get, I know I'm going to get rid of a Citrus Berry or a Lumberry or something along uh, those lines because obviously it's going to be using Harvest. Um, now it's going to set up the Leaf Seed. Um, I was almost going to swap there, but I thought, well, I let's sustain because I know I can get a rest off here, and then I can I might be able to swap into like like different uh, status moves like Will O Wisp or um, anything like that in the future. So and plus I get my health back and get rid of that burn, so it wasn't too bad an option there. Okay, um, now the main problem I had at the moment was this Trevenant um, getting sort of past it. Um, like I didn't have too many pokes that could actually do much to it. Um, like I had a couple, but I, did, I couldn't really afford to swap them into it. Okay, so he's going to use Substitute there, which was bad for me. Um, I can't really do much damage with Patrusu this time. Um, he's more relies on status. Um, so I'm just going to U-turn the hell out of there and um, swap into something uh, different that can actually break this up or um, pretty much stop all those uh, little annoying moves like Leech Seed and will -Wisp. Okay, um, so with Leech Seed up now, that's going to give him lots of all three cuff. So I want to go taunt here because I want to make sure that he pretty much has to attack me uh, on my next Pokemon that I can bring it in. Um, so taunt here, I, I really want to force um, force him to go for uh, Horn Leech now, which was his uh, positive that it was his only attacking move. Uh, so Leech Seed, Horn Leech, Seed, Horn Leech, Will O Wisp, and Sub. So Horn Leech was the only attack. Um, damn, you wouldn't want to come across a Swords Buck. Okay, um, so Strain to Drapion because I know I can absorb that um, Horn Leech really easily uh, just with my typing, and it's not going to do very much to me at all. And um, I can easily sort of fire off a knockoff to get rid of the sub um, as well, uh, which I do, so straight away I get rid of that um, sub, which is great because um, he is taunted and he can't set up that uh, substitute no longer. Okay, so there's nothing to lose for him to go for another Horn Leech here, get some damage on me, because uh, I am Life Orbed, and that is sort of, sort of slowly willing my health down. So a little bit more damage here. Now this is probably the most, this was probably the most, uh, right here was probably a very important part of the match. Um, a very important, like, miss to here. I think he would miss with will -Wiz. So that, out of this whole match, that actually mattered. That mattered quite a bit, because my Drapion was able to dodge that, uh that burn, but really the Toxic and stuff before, I don't think really would have had much of a bearing on the match, but that burn certainly uh, would have had uh, somewhat somewhat um, actual an actual bearing on the match. Okay, so I don't want to swap into like an Earthquake, so Shrain to Patcher, so I've got an Air Balloon, um, but so he's going to probably anticipate that, and Rock Slide misses again um, with that very sort of shaky accuracy. I know that I can't really take this out, and it's going to outspeed me anyway, so... I am max health though, and I was positive I might just live, and I did. I lived a critical hit, which was quite interesting. Um, I, I just went for nozzle there. I know it's going to do monkeys, but uh, with the toxic up, um, I think it's on the second turn there. I just take it out, which is great. Um, get rid of Mega Aerodactyl, which is really, really fast and hits hard as well. Okay, so out comes the uh, Doraya, being his Greninja. Um, I know I'm going to get out sped, and I'm going to be fodder. So I'm just going to leave him in there and um, take that out. Um, I've got my normal Rotom. I know that can easily deal with Greninja. Um, that's not going to be a problem. Um, and we've got the Heatran left. That was um, 
somewhat of a problem too, but I'm quite confident that I can sort of deal with that. So I went for Volt Switcher. He lives with like one health. Um, must have, may have, must have been like minimum damage, I reckon. Um, anyway, so straight back into Lickitung, um, anyway, because he can just pretty much sponge all these special attacks so easily, and um, with these like gigantic special defense with Everlight and health. Um, so sort of forced to swap there because I'm easily gonna take another two hits and wake up and finish him off. So, uh, into Heatran. This was sort of like the last obstacle for me to try and get across. Um, yeah, I was in a pretty good position with my pokes as well. Like, I had a couple to sort of sacrifice against this um, this guy. So, I knock off his item and it was a Assault Vest. So, I was very happy to knock that off uh, as well. If it came down to me attacking his Heatran with my Rotom, uh, which I didn't really want to do because I knew that I'd sort of be in trouble there. I was really sort of saving my Drapion for Heatran as well. Um, Anyway, so I'm just firing off another Body Slam. I know it's going to not really do a hell of a lot of damage, but it's like just a little bit, I guess. And I get another Parahax, which is good. So I had I had a lot of stuff going my way this battle, which was really which was really handy. But once again, it didn't really matter that Heatran got paralyzed there at all um, against Lickitung. Like it didn't really matter uh, at all. And frankly, because I just was doing no damage, and I was confident that I could swap in my Drapion and. Finish it off with Earthquake anyway. So I pretty much let my Lickitung die there. I could have gone for a rest and gone sleep taught body slam all day, but I thought, well, let's just try and uh, finish this match now. So straight into Drapion. Um, now I can go straight for Earthquake. Even if I was burned, if I got hit by that burn there before, I would have done very heavy damage to Heatran for sure. And um, even if it lived, I still had my Rotom and I could have just used Thunderbolt to finish that off. So that wasn't really... Uh, too much of a problem, and um, since I was scarfed, I'd have enough to outspeed the Greninja as well. So I pretty much, um, pretty much, Rotom could finish the battle off. And um, so that's Drapion down, and um, now just into Rotom to finish the Greninja off. But uh, it was a good game, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this. But yeah, just um, with this um, streaming thing, if you want to watch me live stream again on the normal days. Uh, Sunday 3, 3 a.m. Australian Western Standard Time. Uh, just head over to my Ustream and uh, just make a quick account. It's free and everything. It takes like one second. And if you want to do... I had like a really good chat going on my other one, but if you want to say, be involved in that again, that's uh, there as well. I do take battles from there uh, throughout the week as well and do some multis and all that sort of fun stuff. But I will be hosting them there uh, as well. So I hope to see you guys at my live stream again. Anyway, um, as usual, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace out, everyone.